Well, I've heard good things about Reverend guitars for years, but I've never actually gotten one in my hands to try. Until now. Let's check it out. <laughs> Well, I have a great appreciation for a company that manages to come up with cool, original designs that really work. And this Charger 290 is one of the Reverend models that most interested me. Now, refreshingly, it's neither a Gibson nor Fender clone, but utilizes some of the most functional features from both. So, we have a bolt neck design with a six-on one-side headstock and a telly-like control plate, but P90 pickups a tunematic bridge, and a stop bar tailpiece. Now this is a 2023 example, and it's finished in one of the coolest colors I've seen. Now they call this periwinkle, and as you can see, it's kind of a light violet color. Of course, there's nothing more subjective than color, but I really love this finish. This is a Corinna or white limba body. The neck is roasted maple with a medium oval profile, and it's attached with Reverend's six screw system. Now it has a nice rosewood fingerboard with a 25 and a half inch scale, a 12 inch radius, and a 1.692 inch or 43 millimeter synthetic bone nut. Now the depth is about 0.810 inch or 20.5 millimeters at the first fret and 0.850 or 21.6 millimeters at the 12th. Now these P90s are Reverend's own which are called 9A5s, indicating the use of Alnico 5 magnets. Now, controls are interesting and well implemented, being both straightforward and flexible. First, there's a treble bleed on the volume control, so you don't lose highs as you roll it down. And uh, up here, you have Reverend's bass contour control. Now, the bass contour control, I find especially useful for rhythm parts. For instance, this is with it in the normal position, fully up. And when you back it off, you can see how it has a crisper sound by dropping out some of those bass frequencies. Full on. And backed off. Built by one of Korea's most respected builders, every Reverend is shipped to the USA headquarters where a team of technicians inspects and meticulously sets up each guitar. So they're ready to take out of the box and onto the stage.
Bourbon guitars are advertised as boutique quality without the boutique price. And I have to say the build quality is outstanding. Everything about the instrument says top quality, including all these little touches from the, the locking tuners to the use of premium pots and caps. I especially appreciate details like the use of a pure tone output jack, which uses two connections rather than the usual one, assuring solid, reliable contact. As I often mention, I can't afford to keep the guitars I buy for review. If I started doing that, my channel would grind to a halt in no time. <laughs> but if I could keep a few, this one would be up toward the top of the list. Well, thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.